What's going on everybody? This is Ultima iDevice Vids and today in this video we're going to be doing a speed test between the iPhone 12 and the Samsung Galaxy S21. As usual we're going to be doing a variety of tests including a boot up test, app launching tests, a web page loading test, a biometrics test, a geek bench test, and an Intudu benchmark test. With the Galaxy S21 on the left and the iPhone on the right, first things first I want to show you guys that both of these devices are running their latest operating systems respectively. Also both devices are running at peak performance capacity in regards to their battery health. As you can see, that is reflected in the battery settings for the iPhone. And of course, the Galaxy S21 was just released, so you know it has a brand new battery as well. And for those curious, the S21 is set to adaptive under motion smoothness, meaning the display refresh rate can automatically adjust to as high as 120 hertz in certain conditions like scrolling and animations. Even though this doesn't play too much of a role in a speed test like this, I still wanted to let you guys know. Also, for those curious, we are using a US model of the Galaxy S21 with the Snapdragon processor. And we're going to kick things off with the boot up test. So with both phones off here, we're going to go ahead and power them back on at the same time. And I'm not going to cut anything out of this portion of the video. I want you guys to see the uncut boot up time. Now, as I always say, it's definitely worth mentioning that a boot up test is not representative of how a device is going to perform in all areas. It's just interesting to see. So as you can see here, a negligible difference between these two devices with the iPhone booting up just a little bit before the Galaxy. And with the app switchers cleared on both devices, let's go ahead and move on to some app launching. So starting off with some lighter applications, as you can see, both devices just tear through opening up these apps. The Galaxy S21 having a little bit of an edge, you can see here in most of these applications over the iPhone 12. Again, just a split second of an edge, but an edge nonetheless. And as I always say in videos like this, the minor differences that appear in this type of test usually aren't noticeable in day-to-day -day life. It's just because we're comparing these two devices head-to-head, side-by-side, -side, that of course it is noticeable. Of course, both of these devices are brand new top-of-the-line phones in 2021, so you're really not going to have an issue with either. Tests like this are mainly just to see how similar the performance on two top-of-the-line devices are, or of course to see if one performs a little bit better doing a certain task than the other one. Another factor to note is the app open animations on the Galaxy are a little bit faster than the iPhone's app open animations, so that does help the Galaxy a little bit, but honestly, I'd say it's not too big of a factor. And this remains mostly consistent across these applications with a couple instances of the iPhone pulling ahead. So moving on to the last game we're going to be launching being PUBG. And as you can see here at first, the Galaxy S21 is pulling ahead with the iPhone 12 following shortly behind it. However, as you're going to see here, the final loading sequence for the game loads just a little bit quicker on the iPhone 12 in the end. And I also want to include the camera application. And as you can see here, opens super quick on both. And with with the app switchers cleared on both once again, let's go ahead and do some consecutive app launching. So starting off with some of those lighter applications, you can see the Galaxy does have once again that split second advantage over the iPhone. However, once we start to get into some of the games with Subway Surfers here, you can see the iPhone pulls ahead starting with Subway Surfers. Again, just a split second ahead, but again, a split second nonetheless. So they're basically just neck and neck for the remainder of the consecutive app launching test as you're seeing with both devices performing very well. Again, I would just say a very negligible difference between these two devices, of course, them being brand new top of the line phones once again in 2021. So a very impressive performance on account of both of these phones. So I'm just going to go ahead and speed through the remainder of the consecutive app launching test here. Of course, concluding the test with some of the heavier applications such as Asphalt 9 and PUBG. And directly following the consecutive app launching test, next we're going to do a little bit of a RAM management check. Now, of course, we didn't really do anything too CPU intensive or strenuous, but I just wanted to check which applications remained open in the background. And it appeared that every application on both devices remained open except for Instagram and Twitter on the Galaxy for whatever reason. So all in all, as you're seeing here, I don't think you're going to have any issues with RAM management on either of these devices. And for those curious, the Galaxy S21 has 8 gigabytes of RAM and the iPhone 12 has 4 gigabytes of RAM. Next is biometrics. We're going to compare the speed of the iPhone iPhone's Face ID versus the Galaxy's face recognition, and we'll also compare Face ID to the Galaxy's fingerprint recognition as well. And I also wanted to include the Galaxy's fingerprint reader working when the display is off, which you can see is also very quick as to be expected as well. So as you're seeing, basically all of these unlock methods are very fast on all of these devices. And real quick, I just want to load a few web pages in Safari, so we'll go ahead and do a Google search here. And we'll also load up a few pages from the results. And as you can see here, 
Absolutely incredible performance on both devices as to be expected. We'll do another Google search here and just load up a few more web pages. And of course, you should keep in mind that web page loading times entirely depend on the internet connection that you're using. But as you can see here, absolutely nothing to complain about in regards to web browsing. And I want to conclude by running a few benchmarks, the first of which being Geekbench. So we'll go ahead and open up Geekbench and run a benchmark. And here are the numbers. So fairly comparable numbers with the iPhone scoring a little bit higher than the Galaxy in this case. Next, we're going to go ahead and move on to the Antutu benchmark as well. And here are the results. Once again, pretty comparable with the Galaxy this time showing a little advantage in the overall score over the iPhone. So as you've seen throughout this video, these two devices have performed very well. And as I said earlier, these two devices being top of the line phones in 2021, you're not going to have any issues in regards to performance on either of these devices. If you guys use either of these devices, let me know down below in the comment section how the performance has been for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.